Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Nick. I'm Jesse. And you're watching Nick, Nick and Jesse. Jesse. What's going on, Jesse? What's going on, guys? We are excited. It is Good Friday. Uh, three days. Sunday is Easter. It's Good Friday. And uh, yesterday was a fantastic day. Um, yesterday was, I believe, the first shipping date for the new Rode Wireless Go uh, microphone system. And uh, for the first time, we did not just jump on the bandwagon. We are out on the spearhead of what's new with Rode. It all started with this little mic right here, the Rode Go, Video Mic Go. And uh, we bought this microphone uh, as a way to step up our audio. Uh, Nick has a fantastic camera, but the camera is supposed to be meant for one thing, for taking really good video, not so much audio. But audio is very, very important. So it was in my heart to uh, try and step up our audio games. So we bought this one microphone first. And then I also wanted to do some little, uh, some phone stuff. So I could plug it into my phone and get good audio on the iPhone. We got this, we started using it, but it's a passive microphone, so we had to step it up. Um, and I found out that there was the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, um, and uh, so we bought that. That's what we're actually using right now, and it's been fantastic. We learned how to step up our game. Sometimes it's about using the equipment properly, sometimes it's about the equipment. Um, if I was standing this far away from the camera, with this microphone on the camera, it wouldn't sound as great, but the Pro Plus is fantastic for this depth. Um, if we're doing a, an interview with somebody, we can put it on a boom, uh, you could travel with it, um, and it would be fantastic. We also, the next step we got was the Rode Filmmakers uh, Video Kit, which is a wireless lab system, which has been fantastic. However, we found some uh, holes uh, in the system, or some uh, hiccups that we, we want to get around. Nick has been using the gimbal. Um, and you cannot put the, that on there and have the full range of the gimbal to use. Um, another thing is is that you have to deal with cables and cables are really, really bad, really very well known for breaking. Another one is the when the mic is sitting on your shirt, you get a lot of rustling um, and you're dealing with the actors. So we needed something that was very, very quick and easy to use, something that uh, was not gonna fail on us, something that was uh, solid, um, and that we could just put it in our camera bag and take off with it. So Nick showed me a video a couple weeks ago and that was that and I was sold on it. The minute I, I saw it, I fell in love with it. So here we are, the new Rode Wireless Go microphone system. This thing is amazing. I've been watching reviews on it um, and I think it's gonna fill all of our needs. This is fantastic. And I'm not even yet opened the box yet. Um, you ready to open it? I'm ready to open it. Let me get closer to you. I think somebody said yesterday that you got to open it from the bottom. And since there's this little tape here and a little thumb hole, I don't want to wreck anything. Not so much concerned about having to return it. I'm, I have not had any worries with any of Rose products ever. All right, here's a little tear off tab. Right off the bat, you got these little um, quick start guide instructions on how to get started and familiarize yourself with the system. Uh, the fantastic thing is it does not take a rocket science to um, use these things or set these things up at all. We've been watching reviews and they look very, very easy to use. Clip these, we can just pull this all off. We got um, right here, I believe, would be the transmitter. And these weigh, I think they said 31 grams. I watched a few reviews on them. There's actually a microphone built in to the transmitter all in one. There's no cables and is recessed from the rest of the system. And I think it would be very, very difficult to try and cause a lot of uh, um, noise from rustling around. The clip, so it might just clip on here. Uh, if you got a t-shirt on, you have a black tab, doesn't really matter. Or you could use this as a transmitter system, hide it in your pocket and put your, other, put your uh, 
lab, plug your lab mic into it. So you say, does this system downgrade any sort of lab microphone, external lab microphone I might put into it? I saw a review last night um, and this guy actually used what is his favorite lab microphone, um, took it out of the, its normal system, put it into this system, and the actual sound was exactly the same. So what that truly means is you could use your favorite 3.5 millimeter lab microphone and use it straight into the system, but the system is easier to use. There's a seven hour battery life, lithium battery in here. They're rechargeable. You could actually use an external uh, battery charging source and use them indefinitely in your pocket um, and not stop, have to stop shooting. This is literally something that we could say, we're gonna go do a shoot, drop these three things in our pocket and do a video right on the iPhone. What else is There's a cable, goes straight into DSLR camera. Uh, I'm gonna miss the, the names of these cables. Um, but there's one that would go, it's a gray tip, that would go straight into an iPhone or a lightning adapter for an iPhone. And this one would go straight into the DSLR camera. These little uh, fuzzy wind muffs, way too much for the size. They, they almost take up the entire size of the, of the camera themselves. <laughs> but we're gonna use them anyways. And there's little tabs that they pop on. People said that they will pop off really easy. Uh, I can see if you have it, you got this little uh, wind muff, so I might think, think you have a little extra chest hair or something like that if it's hanging out of your out of your chest. But if you had a collared shirt on and you had this hiding in here, and sometimes it doesn't really matter if the, if the microphone is showing, I don't really think yeah. so, right? Um, I saw people using it just, you could literally interview somebody. So if you didn't want some um, obstructive microphone that was standing in the way, you don't know what to do with microphones, you literally could take this and hold it in your hand interview somebody back and forth and uh, not lose any of the sound quality. That's amazing, ridiculous. This right here is the receiver and uh, uh, would just clip on to a cold shoe. We're gonna try this out as it's right here. If you had a um, system, oh my goodness, it slides in right like a glove. So this right here, you'd have uh, an iPhone that would plug, sit in here. And you have the receiver, you have the lightning adapter. Uh, this would plug in, I think it's back, or maybe on the side, right? Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, here we go. There's the line out. This will plug straight into the phone. We could probably, uh, let's see if it goes on the side. Not so much, not so much. Oh, that's a cool chew. Oh, there we go. The outer edge is thicker than the inner edge. Got so, it. So it's, there's some tension on it. So this technically would uh, plug straight into the iPhone. And uh, again, the other end would be on your, uh, your actor. And you could literally now, from your iPhone, have a system that's small enough uh, that you could step away from the microphone. The problem that you have with the, the iPhone microphone is, um, it's not that, it's, it's a little uh, bright, um, and it gets a little very, very tinny. Um, these road mics are very, very full. And you could take it and you could step, you're not limited by any distance uh, from the microphone. Um, and you could walk away from it, still get fantastic quality. You have a good camera in the, in the iPhones, 4K. Uh, but we also have the Sony A6000 that we do most of our stuff on. But we needed something that was fast and efficient. So we are clipping this into the cold shoe and it sits in there fantastic. I'm now plugging it in to uh, the iPhone. Already, you cannot even tell that you have a completely wireless lab system on here. And you can check, you can see the meter right here. It's very, 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 very hot. Hey, so as you see, that's what I was worried about was what your meters look like. Whether it's green, are you gonna know if it's an unsafe zone? or if it's peaking. Hey! Right, so, hey! It's going, it's going kinda you can go yellow. to yellow. Hey! And does it go to red? I don't know, do it again. Hey! I see one line of red. So, it's always good to have at least 50% on your audio levels. There's a DB portion right here at the camera, so you don't even have to worry about your talent uh, making any adjustments after they have it on. I think you can hold this thing down. I believe so. 
check. Let's see. Oh, there it is. So there's a line at the bottom right that talks that shows if that's full, that's at zero. So we could even have it at zero, I believe, right? Truly, it's high, medium, low. Well, I guess I'll have to see uh, what the difference is. But we'll set it there and see what happens. All right. So should I go into the Filmmaker uh, app or just my regular? Let's just, we want the basic. The average person is may not know about uh, a couple of apps. So let's go straight into the regular camera app on the iPhone and figure out. I'm gonna press video here, and uh, I guess I can set that off to the side here. Um, so right now, we are recording, and we'll probably swap the audio over from the Video Mic Pro Plus, and uh, we'll either use the audio or the audio and video from the iPhone 7. Why? Because the average person is not gonna have, it. this is just to prove that the average person could hook up a regular iPhone, use the regular camera video app and clip this system on. I've actually made one adjustment on the DB settings. It didn't really matter. Uh, we'll figure out what happens uh, after the fact. You may have to make one setting. The system came paired out of the box. You can use up to eight systems in the same area. Um, and uh, we're trying to figure out a way. I think there's a, one cable that you can, has a lightning adapter on it that you can hook up two of these systems into the same uh, iPhone, you have two people interviewing back and forth. Uh, and then if we go outside, windy outside, we get these little wind muffs. Uh, and that is the next test. Are we going to be stopped by um, uh, the wind and stuff outside? The, the Pro Plus with the, with the dead cat on it is fantastic, phenomenal. But um, we have definitely enjoyed being able to have a system that was completely very easy to use. Uh, Nick is a video guy and he does not need to be messing around with making settings on audio things. I always use the Pro Plus. I mess around with it when, when he doesn't have it uh, and I do settings on it to figure out the best way to use it. He takes it, it's set at plus 20 on the, on the gain and then uh, he's frustrated at the end of the day. So we want a system that was very easy to use, very quick and could we put on top of an iPhone and uh, would it work as, as good as we thought. Um, I can't remember any other features. Seven hour lithium battery. There's two charging cables in the box. Uh, there's a little pouch that comes with it. But, oh, this is a neoprene pouch. And it's, this is fantastic. Nice, right? Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I couldn't care less if they had a worthwhile pouch as long as the, the microphone system worked well. But to get a worthwhile um, pouch out of it, there's two charging cables so you can charge the transmitter and the receiver at the same time. Uh, and again, you can put your favorite lav mic if you are uh, impartial to partial to a, a certain mic, you could use it and this system will not degrade the uh, quality of the sound at all whatsoever. The only thing it does at worst case scenario is very fast, very small, um, and uh, very easy to use. So we thank you for joining in. We are hoping to have more reviews coming out soon. We've done, we've, we've got a lot more amazing things. We've got some new lights we had. And uh, we want you to know, we want to know what you think about the system. And do you think that you could use this system? The average iPhone user or vlogger could use this system and integrate it and uh, make videos that have better audio quality, better video quality. And uh, ex, uh, what is it? What's, I'm not quite sure. I think that's it. I think that's it, Nick. What do you think? I think I like it. All right, so we are signing out. This is Nick and Jesse. We hope to see you soon.